Hi fellow web flowers. in this tutorial I will show you how to build a vertical animated timeline like this with Webflow animations. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so let me walk you through this timeline element. We have here a section that is called timeline. I gave it a min height of 100 EM just for demonstration purpose. Uh, you don't need that 100 EM and it has a position relative because of this pattern. But as long as you don't have a pattern like this there, you won't need that relative position. Um, then we have a timeline wrap. This actually has no CSS applied, but, but that's my habit. I give each section, the first child is a um, wrap element. Then I have a container. The container has a max width of 90M and a width of 100%. And here I have some page padding stuff and then we get to the timeline inner. The timeline inner is a flex element. Its uh, direction is set to vertical and I give it a, um, a gap for the rows of 6 EM. So that gives us the distance here. <clears throat> so furthermore, um, we have here a timeline uh, grid wrap. It just gives the uh, grid the position of a relative. We will need this for this uh, progress bar. So let's keep it. And then actually the next thing we have is uh, the timeline progress. It's this little orange bar that you um, will see here later. It has a width of three pixel and a height of 5%. Um, and what we are going to animate later is this height. Um, so when we are scrolling, this height is increasing and then we can see this progress bar, exactly. Um, the progress bar itself is set to absolute and it has here a position left 50% and uh, transform on the X axis minus 50%. So it stays in the center of its parent, the timeline grid wrap. Um, furthermore, the timeline progress has one child or actually two childs. It's the timeline dot. It's that little dot here. Um, it will just move along uh, with the timeline progress bar. It has a width of 24 pixels, a height of 24 pixels. It's positioned to uh, relative. It has a Z index of one. And uh, yeah, here's some color settings to it. Then we have this little timeline progress overlay top. That's an element that has here some, some gradient applied. And that's actually, I just have to increase the height of the progress bar a little bit. It's a gradient you can see here. So it looks a bit nicer uh, that way. So, and at the end, we have another overlay here, but we will get to this soon. So furthermore, we have a grid here. This grid is set to one fraction, 0 0.25 fractions and one fraction. And the rows are set to auto. And we have a little uh, gap here of 1.5 EM for the columns. Uh, within this grid, we will find a lot of um, parent divs. You see them. Um, Timeline item wrap, that's the uh, yeah, main child. And some of them are here just for spacing purpose. And some of them, like this one, they have a child. Here's the timeline item. Timeline item is just a, actually uh, this card. It's uh, display flex, it's direction vertical, and I have some spacing stuff applied here. Uh, pretty standard. And within there, you find like two text elements. And uh, we have here also our uh, box shadow. The box shadow has zero blur. That's why it appears to be um, a hard shadow. And yeah, here in the middle, we have a timeline track wrap. This element is um, appears three times here and there also. And it's set to relative and it has a child, it's the timeline track. The timeline track is also two pixels and a height of 
Um, it's actually the other bars you can see here. I mean, it appears to be one bar. Um, it just has a background color. And because of the, uh, the parent, the track wrap, it's set to display flex, vertical, align, center, and justify bottom. Um, it looks like one progress bar. And here in the last one, you can also see um, here's another overlay element. It has a width of six pixel and a height of 4 m and the position is absolute and it's um, set to the bottom. So that's um, the, the HTML and CSS setup for that. So let's see how uh, we make this timeline element responsive. So if I click here on the uh, tablet viewport, I can see it still looks fine. And when I go to mobile landscape, you can see now it starts to look broken. <clears throat> so first thing what we are going to do is we are changing our uh, grid here. Actually, we don't need that first one. We can delete that column and uh, we can change that column maybe to EM and uh, give it a width of maybe 4 EM. Yeah, for let's say 5 EM. 5 EM. And then our empty time, timeline item wrap elements, we can hide them. Um, just create a new class and I call it is a hidden mobile. I give it to all the other empty elements. Here I have another one. And here I have another one and I'm going to hide it, but it's still visible on desktop. So now it's hidden. And yeah, something else I did before probably. was changing the uh, position of uh, this elements. The first one is uh, still set to auto, that's fine. But the second one is um, position manual and it's column two, it starts in column two and it ends in column two and it starts in row two and it ends in row two. That's why it's positioned here. And also the last one, this one here, uh, that's set to manual, that's fine. Because if I would change that position, check out what's happened, if it's auto, then it will look like that. So we need to position the second one manually. And you know, somehow that circle doesn't look like a circle anymore. Looks like an egg. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we decrease it a little bit like this. Okay, looks fine. Okay, good. Um, okay. So on this view, we could also increase this one a little bit, or actually we can change the it's probably better to change the gradient. So it looks like the timeline ends earlier. And the same we will do up here with this one. Probably something like this. And we will later see how it looks like when we are animating it. And yeah, on mobile, it looks fine. I will leave it like this. Maybe I will change a little bit the grid, 5 EM, 4 is probably enough. Yeah, it looks cool. I have a little overflow here coming from um, this bottom element. So I can go to the timeline and I can give it an overflow. It's also responding, fine. Okay, so next step is that we are going to animate the timeline. And this is actually pretty easy. We are just grabbing the timeline grid web wrap. And let's set up the animation. We need an element trigger. We take uh, while scrolling in view. And I've already prepared here 
a little um, animation so uh, we can increase smoothing to something like uh, I don't know 85 percent and um, you can see I've already set up something here um, so we are um, actually what's it called we are targeting um, here that's a target target the timeline progress um, and we are manipulating the size so it starts with a height of zero percent and it ends with a height of 100% and um, we don't leave it to until 100% scrolled through view otherwise um, this dot will arrive when this element will scroll out of view so let's put it here on something like 75% and if you preview that you can see that already works pretty fine um, Furthermore, I want to animate the opacity here of the timeline items. So that's, it has a combo class of is one. Um, we maybe start with a, yeah, with something like 25% and we can duplicate that. And here, yeah, something like 5% we can give it an opacity of 100% and we do the same with this one. Let's see when, when our dot is passing here. Okay, our dot starts to enter here like 28%. Like this. And we turn the opacity down to 25%. We duplicate it. Um, up here we used um, 5%, so we also use 5% up here, 33%, and we turn up the opacity on 100%. Let's get to the last one. It starts to enter yeah, like here, so 53%. Duplicate that one again. Make it to 52, that's also fine. And we, oh, I needed to change the target. No, target is fine, okay. Here we need to change the target and choose this one. And we duplicate it and put it to 57. And yeah, it starts with 25 and it ends with 100%. So I think that's already working. Let's have a look. Yeah, very easy. You can see it also works on tablet and it probably also works on mobile. Very fine. So that wraps it up. Um, that's how you make a um, vertical timeline animated in Webflow in something like 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you don't want to miss any other tutorials, any new tutorials, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thanks, bye bye.